Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is Moodle. Again, how do I send emails through Moodle? There are some ways if you want to email your students, you can save all of their emails and go to Outlook or any email uh, that you have, or you can message them, but on messaging, it is a mess. Uh, you cannot find it easily, you cannot keep track of them, and so on. But there is a way where you can actually email your student. So, how do you do that? First, go on edit mode, because you need to edit on your Moodle course. And then, instead of going through your course, you come here, add a block. Add a block. There are a lot of blocks, but the most common mistake, if you go on email, there is no email with E only evaluation. Uh, go on mail, let's see, nothing on mail, mass action, McGraw Hill, uh, A A R I R S. Oh, that is hard. And Menti, so they are here on quick mail. And there are two, quick mail and quick mail SMS. So SMS, you text your student. It is very good. The students nowadays, they read much more text than emails. However, the students must add their uh, cell phone numbers on Moodle. And at least my students, most of them, they don't do it. So no, I don't use it, but it is the same. So quick mail. And now you let me move myself around here. And then here is your quick mail. Even if you are not on edit mode anymore, your email will be here. So now it is just like an Outlook or Gmail or any other uh, email uh, application that you use. So you can add your, your your signature, alternate emails, configuration, notification, create notification. Just come here, compose. And then, let's move myself here again. From, that is me. And then to, you don't need to, you can select your students, one by one, or student. Exclude, so to students, exclude. I don't want to mail to all of my students. Subject, uh, next class. Additional emails if you want to send it to anyone else. And then, hello, there will be no class on Monday. Or any other email and best me. And then you can add files just like a regular email. You can even uh, schedule it. So I want it to be mail, so let's enable here. I want it to be mail next week. And then send message. It will go to your students, but it will go anytime you want. So that, that's it, quite easy, straightforward, but remember, you need to add the block first, but you need to add the block only once. If you uh, log out, log in now, the block will be here. If you close it, then just go on this arrow, it will show you again. You can add more than one block. That is completely up to you. Okay, guys, questions or comments, just leave them here and have a very nice day and God bless you.